Hello, I'm Ryan Rafels. But you know that. Today, we will be doing a critical analysis of Escape, the Pina Colada song by Rupert Holmes. This song was released off of his 1979 album, Partners in Crime. Let's take a look at the lyrics. I was tired of my lady. We'd been together too long. That's nice. Then why'd you marry her? Why did you marry her? Like a worn out recording of a favorite song. So picture it for a moment. You're in a relationship with someone for a long time and they're like, you know, babe, you're my favorite song ever. But you're like that dusty old scratched up record that I found in the back of the record section at the local thrift store. Isn't that heartwarming? So while she lay there sleeping, I read the paper in bed. Going behind your back, dump him. And in the personal columns, there was this letter I read. And you know the rest. The letter reads, If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape, then I'm the love that you've looked for. Write to me and escape. I didn't think about my lady. I know that sounds kind of mean. Kind of mean? Gee, it just sounds like you're a kind of a colossal meanie head. That's the word I'm looking for. A colossal meanie head. But me and my old lady had fallen into the same old dull routine. Well, guess what? Every one of us here in this system of a society we live in is in a same old dull routine. So, like, why don't you suck it up, bucko? So I wrote to the paper, took out a personal ad, and though I'm nobody's poet, I thought it wasn't half bad. We'll be the judge of that. Yes, I like pina coladas. Clever. And getting caught in the rain. I'm not much into health food. I am into champagne. All right, same, brother, same. I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon and cut through all this red tape at a bar called O'Malley's where we'll plan our escape. So the issue's here. I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon. How are you going to know when that is? Because this is back in the day on newspapers, okay? So you submit this personal ad. But when you submit it, are you going to know when it's published? Because I'm thinking that you might have a rough idea, but it's probably not going to be exact. So you're just going to show up at this bar. A bar called O'Malley's. Are you just assuming that she knows where this bar is? Or, like, are you giving her adequate time to find out? Like, clearly this man doesn't think before he starts relationships, is what I'm getting. So I waited with high hopes, and she walked in the place. I knew her smile in an instant. I knew the curve of her face. It was my own lovely lady, and she said, oh, it's you. Then we laughed for a moment, and I said, I never knew, and then, you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so she walks in, she says, oh, it's you. Clearly you both hate each other. <laughs> so like, what are you doing together? Why did you get together in the first place? So now suddenly they're just going to be like, oh, now that we've found out after who knows how long they've been together, it's got to have been a long, long time. Oh, I never knew these things about you suddenly. Suddenly we have all this stuff in common. Let's like rekindle the flame. You were both about to cheat on each other. Both of you. You took out intricate newspaper ads and both suddenly got into poetry to meet other people. And you're just going to say, oh, not clearly this isn't working. Maybe we should rethink some things. No. Oh, this is just what we need. This is great. This is a new beginning. Mm. <laughs> Look, all I have to say is red flags, red flags everywhere. I know this was maybe a little bit back in the day, but like, you got to keep an eye out for these kinds of people because they're everywhere. You don't want none of that in your life, sister. None of that.